subscribe. There he is. Oh, there he is. oh, there he is. Yes. Big oh. fish. Oh, oh, I broke my rod. Oh, it's a snook. Oh, it's, it's a snook. snook. <laughs> <laughs> he smoked it. I'm coming to help you. It's a nice snook. He broke my rod. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Today we are here with Captain Easton Grimes from woodlinefishing.com, Woodline Charters, right here in the South Shore. He's one of my buddies that we fish with down here. And um, we both had a charter this morning, had a good morning. Lots of sheephead, lots of trout, lots of snook going on. But, you know, sometimes when you do the same thing day after day, and this is going to make us sound really spoiled, I'm sure. But when you do the same thing day after day, every once in a while you got to do something to, to freshen it up a little bit. So we started talking, and we've got some medium, I would say medium redfish? I would say they're pretty small to medium. Small to medium redfish that have been sitting in a couple holes. And they're a blast on rod and reel. But we started talking and thinking if we could get close enough to them, could we do it on a cane pole? I know fly fishermen, every time I talk to a fly fisherman, I'm like, hey man, we caught a 40 inch snook, but, but have you done it on a fly? That's the first thing they always ask. But did you do it on the fly? Artificial guys are, hey man, but have you caught one like that on artificial? Right. So but have they caught one on a cane pole? Have you caught one on a cane pole? So the goal for today, I haven't caught one on a cane pole. I have only thought about it. You've yeah. dreamt, 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 dreamt. <laughs> You've only dreamt about it. I, I believe we can. It doesn't seem too far fetched. Uh, we can. Huh. We know we can get in there close to them. Uh, we know we can get the bait in their face. Uh, but can we catch one on a cane pole? That's what you, we don't know yet. You guys and us guys and Jake guys will be the first to know. So, without further ado, redfish on a cane pole. Can it be done? All right, so we just got to our first spot. The water's still a little low, but it's coming in. So if it's not good yet, it could be good. Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the tackle that we're using today. Uh, it's it's a little... Is that Spam calling you again? Yeah, I bet it's Spam. He's, got some, he's got some girl named Spam the, that calls uh, him like 10 times a day. Spam. But uh, so my pole of choice for this is the Shakespeare Durango panfish pole, 10 foot. I'm using 20 pound, 25 pound liter to just a little, uh, I'd say it's probably an eighth ounce jig head and we're gonna use some shrimp and stuff like that. Easton, what's your pole choice? Uh, I like to go with the Black Widow. And we know, we know that this Black Widow was manufactured after the invention of the internet. But, <laughs> and sad to say Before. it was made in China. Before. Well, it has a website on the stick. Okay, so. okay. Anyway, so. That's the tackle for today, and uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna pitch some bushes. There's been some redfish in here. Let's see if we can get one out. You ready? I feel like I might have a little bit too much line. I do too. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to go a little shorter. I think but, uh, usually you want yeah. your line right about handle length yeah. so you can control it. We've got like an extra three foot to get a little bit more distance, but, but that might work against us. Find out. We'll let you know. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's not common here in the bay. No, it's not. In fact, no one's probably ever seen it before here in the bay, like this. If I'm wrong, drop a comment down on the bottom. <laughs> He's just started watching YouTube. Dude, that's all I know about YouTube. I know you're supposed to say that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There he is. Oh, there he is. oh, there he is. yes. Big oh, 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 I broke my rod. Oh. It's a snook. Oh, it's, it's a snook. <laughs> he smoked it. I'm coming to help you. It's a nice right snook. He broke my rod, guys. Oh, oh my God. Don't uh, stay on. Stay on. Oh, he shattered that rod. That's a wow. nice snook. That's a nice snook. You got a net? For a cane pole? Oh, no. There's a little net in the console. For a cane pole? Yeah. Wow, bro. Wow. Where's the he net? broke it right there at the handle. Dude, I'm gonna it's in it. the console, side of the console, oh. side door. Well, that side didn't have a door. There we go. Look at that. It can be done. It can be done. I got him. Okay. That's a nice snook on a cane pole. Dude, on a cane pole. How do you like... Dude, he, he just hammered it. Dude. Like, we went from nothing to... Dude, it was crazy. <laughs> he scared, dude, he scared <laughs> me so bad when he hit it. Guys, we haven't caught our target species yet, but that's what do you think? He's in a 24, 25? He's in there, man. I'm not going to argue. And Snook on a cane pole, dude, 10 feet from us. 
And how, how many times a day, sometimes you catch snook that big, like on, you know, regular spinning gear, fishing live bait on the flats and it's fun. Yeah. But that, that was a lot of fun. That dude. was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm just hoping since that rod shattered, maybe Shakespeare will see this and hit me up and send me a bundle of uh, cane poles. <laughs> yeah, Shakespeare, we got that one off the rack so, at Walmart. It was probably already nicked. Definitely not your fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there it is, guys. First fish on a cane pole. For me, anyways, in saltwater. Solid snook. And uh, that was freak. That was a freaking blast, dude. Yeah, I dude. thought when, I mean, when he first ran, I thought it was like a 30 inch red. I thought it was too. I don't think we're going to have a chance on a big red. I just knew it was going to be a red and I saw him rolling out there and I never even thought snook. I didn't either. It never on a shrimp in the bushes, yeah. 10 feet from it. So, all right, there it is. Back he goes. Get out of here, buddy. Snook on a cane pole. That <laughs> was a blast. It. That's doing it right now here. let's see what kind of damage we got. Oh yeah. I mean, it broke there, but I still got some cane pole left. Man. Duct tape. We can just duck that right up. Good duct tape. All right, so we bumped down about 20 yards. Uh, that snook really stirred things up. The cane pole bite shut down, and uh, we're hitting a few more holes. But really, work the. Uh, you can really work the shoreline. I mean, am I crazy? Like, I feel yeah. like we're thoroughly fishing everything we're fishing. It's pretty. It's pretty interesting, man. Yeah, I would say you want to. You want to stop and go. You don't want to try to just troll a motor down because you yeah. really you really gotta you really gotta be in here and still but yeah fish the spot move on down you know if, you, if it ain't working try something else what i'm learning i'm learning some about our tackle too like next time i'll buy a bigger cane pole i'm in there that time you get in there i'm in there good like the way these fish will pile up in a hole if you can find them in a hole and i'm hungry. if you can find them in a hole and they're comfortable you could probably catch multiple fish out of one hole with a cane pole. There you go. Easton's on. Easton's on. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Be the red, baby. Be the red. Let me get the net. Oh, oh man, it's got some pull to it. Oh, that's a red. Yes, sir. Oh man, where should I take him to? Bring him over here this side. Okay. I don't want to rush him now. I feel like he's hooked good. I felt like pop pop, and I was I was unsure, but I, I went ahead and stuck him. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, he had was, it in his mouth pretty good. I, I think I could see the that's a nice I could see fish, the top dude. of the jig head. That's that's a nice fish. Here. You really got to play him out on the cane pole. Yeah, you don't want to rush it at all. He looks like he's hooked pretty good. All right, come on, baby. There you go. Right in the net. Right in the net. All right, good job. Good buddy. job, woman. Nice. Look at that. Look how orange, golden. Dude, that's a slot redfish on a cane pole. I think you're right, man. That's a slot red. I might have to measure this thing because uh, it's probably it's your PB. This is where pole? yeah, this is where the record starts. <laughs> so this is it, it actually is. This is the biggest redfish caught on a cane pole where we are right now that we know about. Zero. This is just a rough measurement. I just want to. He's he's at 17 and a half. He wouldn't have been, but hey, 17 and a half. So let's start. Get it back in the water quick. I mean, he's a little guy, he's gonna be fine. It's cold in here. He's good to go. All right, dude, so we got a snook and a red so far. Wow, yeah, that was awesome. I mean, dude, I, kinda, I, I kinda wanna catch a redfish. I think you need to. But, um, yeah, dude, I was just walking back to get another bait. I forgot we were even doing this thing. Like, I, that was incredible. Like, so much adrenaline. Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> this crazy, is dude. stupid, dude. <laughs> yes. This is, uh, I don't even really know what to say. Uh, I'm just, I really didn't think, I honestly didn't think we'd be able to get this close to him. I mean, no part of me was ready for that bite, dude. No. I mean, I guess he did bump it a couple times, but once I set the hook, it was, it was crazy. All right. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Red? Yeah, red. Time, take your time. You gotta kinda play them out. Yeah, you gotta. You don't wanna rush it. I'll, the net'll be ready, but just don't rush it. Oh, keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. I can't reach him. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Dude, I was at the end dude. of my rope. It's a little smaller than yours. Uh, that's alright. But it's a redfish. That's on a right. How'd it feel? 
Dude, I actually had my head turned and all of a sudden it just tried to pull the rod out of my hands. Yeah. So we were just talking about, oh, hey, we got to move on because we've sat here and we really haven't been here that long. You know, sometimes ten it takes, minutes. takes it some time to catch one. Yeah, but. 10, 15 minutes. Let me see if I can get a grip on this guy. There it is. My first redfish on a cane pole. This is doable. Dude, it's definitely so this doable. Is a perfect, this is a perfect example of you don't have to have the best equipment. I mean, I mean, to get to this spot, okay, if we had a John boat. We could have got to this spot in yeah. two cane poles and we're catching snook and reds. We could have walked here if we started this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, honestly, we'd have to swim a couple, couple feet, but <laughs> we'd have made it. <laughs> but, but you wouldn't have had to worry about your reel getting messed up. No, 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 not at all. And somebody probably would even stop and give you a ride if you ask. I'm sure. <laughs> Freaking awesome, dude. Yeah, I don't even know. Awesome. What, I don't know what else to say. I mean, welcome to the club, baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, let's get this little jerker back. Welcome to the club. You don't break it. It's like passing the torch, dude. You're passing, the black widow. passing the black widow. That's what I just caught my fish on. Look at this. This is a moment here, guys. Easton is passing the black widow off to my man, Captain Jake Wise. Okay, so Easton got his in that hole, Jake. But I just a mental moment for me. Um, I just feel like I should say a couple of words. <laughs> I got mine in the hole up at the front. There's so a of, there's a lot of stress on his shoulders right now. Absolutely. Hey, Jake. I know I'm always telling you what to do. Yeah. But that like that was my first flip to that left side. See those see those mangroves hanging. Just to the right of where those mangroves are hanging. Yep. Back in that back corner hole. Like yep. The other side. Oh, is that where? We're, oh, damn! I thought you were back up in there, but. No, I was really actually right there off that corner. Yep. And like a foot makes so much difference to get these bites. There oh, you go. Fish on. on. Fish on. on. There you go, Jake. Checks on. Oh, nice red. Good red, dude. Good red. This is a weird fight. Yeah, it is, it is right? Just take her easy. Wow. I'm looking for that net, by the way. I that, think I just found it. The whole thing just shattered in my hand. The whole thing did? Yeah. It's really broke down. We just need bigger cane poles. Yeah. But it's, yeah. Maybe. Is it moving now? Is it, or is it just more broke where it was already? It's more broke where it was broke. Okay, that's not a big deal. Yeah, as long as it didn't oh. break further up. Oh, there you go, Jay. Good job, kid. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's got two spots on that one side. That's a special one. Good job, dude. Jake's first ever redfish red on, on a cane pole. Nice. Good job, dude. Two spots. How many on the other side? Uh, one. Sweet. He's pretty fish, man. So what do you think, man? How about that bite? It's it's pretty intense. It is, right? It's different. I mean, like, I just dropped it in there, and before I knew it, my pole was broke in my hand, and <laughs> it was crazy. Awesome, know. dude. Pretty awesome. Good stuff. Get another bait. Oh. You got fiberglass in your finger? Yep. Another downside to cane pole fishing with a broken cane pole. It's out now. So we're All right, we're good. We're good. We're back in the game. That is not great. Yep. See, guys, you can see in the video right here, we have regular fishing poles. But we've chosen I don't want to, use it. to do it on a cane pole. He's on. Here you go. As soon as it hit the water. I feeling I know what it is, but he feels better than that last one, man. He, I haven't seen him yet. Come on. Oh, it's a nice fish, it's dude. Red. I think it's a red. Oh, it's a red. It's a nice red, dude. Oh, <laughs> dude, yeah. it's a hammer. It's a stud. You've seen, all right, you've seen the smalls. Now we're getting to the medium. Wow. Still got a lot. That's a nice fish, bro. He went on a run and I had it held up here and he almost 
he almost got to the breaking point. The last ones didn't do that. Dude, I gotta, I gotta land this fish, man. That's a good one, man. Oh, dude, this is awesome. That's a different animal than that last one. <laughs> this is insane, man. We're sitting right on top it of it. It feels fish. like the line could pop. There's 20 pound leader I have tied on here. 20 pound fluorocarbon from the top to the bottom. More than anything that concerns me is the tip of the rod. Yeah, where that, that knot where, yeah. is, yep. Wow, he just keeps turning and going back under there. I, I could, you know, try to bring him in, but I don't want to rush him. He's he got him, dude. He got him. Head up. I, I think he's getting a little close. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to back off. It's the only way I can really do it and hold the rod butt down on the bottom. Caught fish. Oh, dude. Good yeah, fish, dude. Yes. Yes. Good fish. Oh wow! He's Somebody give me some. Was, dude. Oh no, never mind. Too late. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> But, oh my goodness, that's, I would take that any day on a rod and reel, man. Absolutely. And he just, wow. The first one was fun, but this one was like, <laughs> I think that's what I'm here for, like from now on. You know what I mean? Wow. What a beautiful fish, man. This is just good times. There you go. Sometimes when people, I hear people say all the time, man, they're bored with, Man, I'm bored with snook. I'm bored with this. I'm bored with that. Because they catch a bunch of them. And that's cool. But change the way you're doing it, dude. Yeah. Do something different. Fun. I mean, because this is, this is exciting again. Not that it, I don't mean to sound like that because I don't want to sound dude, what, what you spoiled. What you're trying not to say, what's hard not to say is like we've caught so many of these like with the rod and reel and it's fun. But this is so after, different. You do it so many times, so many times, so many times. You just, I don't know, dude. This was genius <laughs> this is genius bro this is so awesome what do you think jake it's pretty awesome yeah. <laughs> i would recommend it dude this is like about as primal as you can get yeah dude do this. i mean i guess we could have made a hook out of a stick or something dude i actually did think about that like fishing with a stick but i oh oh Yes, yes, redfish. Oh, it's so scary when that pole's bent right in front of your face. Bam. Oh, sweet, dude. Bam. Sweet. That was a long, we're four, four and a half minutes into this video, and uh, there had been some time gone by before I started, so that's just how, how long it can take. It's not, even though we know they're here, yeah, you got to hold it there. You gotta keep your bait still. There's no doubt about it. If you get it in there, you gotta keep it still and make sure the line doesn't move. You can catch redfish on cables. It's been done. Now, well, we want to hear about it. If anybody knows anybody that's been fishing with cane poles up in here, we can we can share some techniques. For redfish, because yeah, like for I redfish. Said, I know I've heard of, I've heard of fishermen back in the day doing the figure eights at the old train trestle and stuff in Boca Grande for sure. For snook, but I don't know, and they may have actually caught a redfish doing it. I, I would be willing to bet they did. I don't know anybody that's targeted redfish with a cane ball. but it can be done. All right, everybody. So that's uh, that's pretty much the end of us for today. You know, I think the moral, really the moral of this video, is you don't have to have. The big boats, the the three, four, five hundred dollar rods and reels, the top of the line, anything to get out and enjoy fishing and uh, and catch fish. You know, if it's redfish you're after and you don't have the best equipment and you and you can't afford it, figure out a way. There's there's always a way. You if you there's if you love way, it, man. there's always a way, right? Stop at any bait and tackle store, get yourself a black widow or a Shakespeare like we were fishing with today. You don't even need line. You can come down here and clean up after somebody. You could pick you up can find line. enough line. You know, if you love it, there's a way to do it. And that was really the moral of the story today. We had a lot of fun doing this video. I think we ended up with five reds and one snook. Um, and it was a blast. I mean, it was a totally different fight. Normally, I mean, like I said, not again, not to sound spoiled guys, but if I had come out or if you'd come out and you caught five, I mean, let's be honest, let's call them rat reds. Yeah. If you'd caught five rat reds and one 24 inch snook, you'd be like, eh, I did okay. 
Right. It was, if it, it was, was okay. just me. Right, if it was just me. Some people were, I mean, and I'm happy catching fish anytime, but some people would be ecstatic catching that. But uh, we're just trying to have a little fun ourselves here and uh, just show you that, like you said, it doesn't take that much. Yeah, keep it fresh. And keep yeah, it fresh. Don't let it get stale. Keep it fresh. I like how we both are saying the same things, different words. Yeah, keep it fresh. <laughs> don't let it get stale. Yeah. So anyways, guys, we had a blast doing this. We hope you enjoyed watching this. Got Jake out in front of the camera a little bit. If you guys want to see more of Jake in front of the camera, Drop us a comment. Drop us, us a comment. A no, I was going to say, leave us a comment. <laughs> um, I would love to see Jake in front of the camera more. He's a little shy, but he's getting better. So uh, leave us a comment. Let us know if you'd like to see Jake more. We're going to put uh, Easton's information at the end of the video with ours. And we'll put everything that we used in the description so you guys can check it out. So until next time, God bless everybody out there. We'll see you guys on the morning.